Carla Bryant. I'm here speaking on behalf of my uncle, Stephen Simonelli. Hello, my friends. It's been an honor and a privilege serving as your counselor for Ward 2 for the last five terms. But my residency has changed to 16 Golden Age Circle. Mm -hmm. And because I no longer live in Ward 2, I have decided to continue serving the people of Everett by running for city councilor at large, voted citywide, number one on the ballot. Mm -hmm. The people elected me, and that is who I serve. I don't have any allegiances to the power mm -hmm. that be. Mm -hmm. I ask tough questions that not many will ask because I have no commitments to any person or cooperations. My votes are based solely on the well-being of the people of Everett. I am not afraid to take stand on tough issues and say no when I believe it's in the best interest of them. A good example is the new casino. No one can deny the casino is a beautiful site and the once polluted area is now cleaned up and looks great. But Councilor Simonelli was the only city councilor to vote no, based on reasons we all know. And the reasons have been widely documented about what casinos might bring. Recently, there seems to be more crime in Everett, included break-ins, shootings, and opiate overdoses. Not saying the casino is the only reason there are many more, but hasn't helped matters either. If you see it, report it. Councillor Simonelli has voted 100% to expand low and middle income housing, especially for senior citizens. Mm -hmm. we, were, we are seeing more and more housing for elderly and handicapped. A good example is the 77 units being built on St. Teresa's property. Our urban renewal plan is money well spent, rehabbing older buildings and new construction, making Everett a better place for our seniors and handicapped. Everett, Everett is doing a great job in the streets and sidewalk repaving, and it's making a huge difference. Better traffic signs routing the casino traffic are visible everywhere. The traffic commission and police are doing an excellent job moving traffic in and out of the casino area. Councillor Simonelli will always work to get more advance notices of road and detours whenever possible. Uh -huh. Closing election day is Tuesday, November 5th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Councillor Simonelli is humbly asking for one of your five votes for city councillor at large, number one on the ballot. Councillor Simonelli's campaign slogan is for the people, <laughs> by the people, and will always be. Remember, my uncle has no commitments to anyone. Our family is born and raised proudly in Everett. Three generations of serving people of the great city. The people of Everett are all that matters to my uncle. Thanks for your support and well wishes. Respectfully yours, Councilor Stephen Simonelli. Number one on the ballot. Hello. I'm Joseph Matthew LaMonica, and I'm a candidate for City Council at large. Both my parents and grandparents were born and raised in Everett, and I am no different. I attended Everett High School, and I am very thankful for the experience I had. I was class president, a member of the Social Activist Club, a state champion in football, as well as a lacrosse team captain. I believe we are all very lucky to live in a city as culturally diverse and inclusive as Everett. Growing up in this city, I got to experience a little bit of every corner of the world right in my backyard. If elected, I will be the candidate that listens to you and your concerns and works adamantly to make sure you never feel left behind or unimportant. Please consider me, Joseph Matthew LaMonica, for one of your five votes this upcoming election day. Thank you. Hello, my name is Peter A. Napolitano, and it has been my honor to serve the residents of Everett on the City Council. As one of the five councils at large, I am currently running for re-election this November, and humbly ask for one of your five votes. I am a lifelong resident of Everett for over 62 years and attended Everett High School. I have been married to my wife Vivian for over 40 years and reside on Cottage Street with our family. After high school, I served in the United States Navy for eight years on active duty and was honorably discharged. 
I am a former Everett business owner with strong ties to the Everett business community as a past member of the Everett Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. I have experience in commercial banking, financial planning, and customer service. I am also a very active member of the Immaculate Conceptions Parish and serve as a member of the Finance Council. I have several years experience as a city councilor and led the city council last year as council president. For the past several years, I have been involved in working to ensure our educational system is properly funded for all our children. As a parent of three special ed children who are now functional adults with good paying jobs, it is an important investment in our community to ensure that our children are successful both academically and occupationally. I have also worked closely with economic development in our city, which has brought thousands of jobs to Everett, raising the standard of living for many of our low-income residents. It takes a considerable amount of time to implement these changes, while at the same time addressing much-needed capital improvements to the city with an aged infrastructure such as worn-out streets and old city buildings. The past two years, we have been told that economically it would be tough to address financial concerns like the tax rate while growing the city. This fall, we will, we will be settling, setting the new tax rate, taking account the much-awaited revenue from the casino, which is finally on the table. Long-promised and much-needed tax relief is on the minds of many of our residents and taxpayers. It is on my mind as well. I will do everything within my power to ensure that relief is provided. Those who have followed my 20-year career of public service as a city councilor know that I will always fight for what is right for all our community and not just a select few. My leadership and dedication to our community is always on your behalf. I take my representation for you very serious. <clears throat> I sincerely want to thank the voters of Everett who came out to support me in September's primary election. It is clear that you recognize the job I have done on your behalf. The council is a team effort and no one individual can hold sway over the team. Much of what some of our new candidates are stating they want to provide, the council has been actively working on many of those same issues in conjunction with our state representation, the administration, and the school department. Everett is a changing city, and now is not the time to derail or slow down that progress with a lot of self-serving rhetoric and no real plan of action. The next phase of development over the next two years will go a long way to promote additional growth and establish more jobs for Everett residents. Knowledge and experience is an important factor here. We all want an affordable community that we can be proud to live in. And to accomplish this goal, we need a steady hand for a changing community. I am committed to work hard to be that hand. Providing responsible representation benefits our entire community. And my public record shows that I am not afraid to ask the tough questions on your behalf. I have the maturity, independence, and experience to continue to move the city of Everett toward a brighter future. As I said before, I take my representation of you very serious. You deserve no less. My name is Peter A. Napolitano, and I respectfully ask for one of your five votes to re-elect me to the City Council as one of your five councils at large. If you would like to assist me in my campaign or have an issue or question, I can be reached at 617-389-7340, friend me on Facebook, or email me at panward1 at aol.com. Thank you for your time, your attention, and your consideration. Remember, on Election Day, November 5th, please vote for me, Peter A. Napolitano, as your councilor at large, elected citywide and number three on the ballot. Together, we can continue to move Everett forward. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gurley Adrian, and I would love to be your next Everett City Councilor at Large. See, I grew up here in Everett. My parents, they bought their first home right on Cedar Street, which is in Ward 4, right off of Bradford Street. Growing up in Everett, I have always loved the small businesses that I would see on Broadway and Ferry Street, as well as my ballet and my gymnastics classes right at Marino Sisters School of Dance on 2nd Street. I went to St. Anthony's in Somerville for elementary school and graduated from St. Clements High School. I went to Bentley University where I majored in business management and accounting. There I fell in love with service. I went to Ghana, Africa. I taught in public schools, 
teaching kindergartners how to read, and particularly teaching people how to learn English. I loved business, but I love giving back to the community. Currently, right now, I've been working in finance for the last eight years. I work at a healthcare institute in Cambridge, where I am the finance and grants manager. I love figuring out where the money should go, how the budget should be allocated, and making sure that healthcare is at a low cost, particularly for low income to middle class families. Healthcare is very dear and special to me, knowing that there's so many people who need it and who are not able to afford it. I'm also a small business owner. I own an ice cream business in Somerville. It's called Tip and Cow Ice Cream, where we serve nut-free ice cream for anyone who has nut allergies. We want every child and individual to enjoy ice cream, which is my favorite treat. I'm also doing my MBA at Boston University. You may think I have a lot going on on my plate, but for me, working hard and making sure I fulfill my duties as the person who I am is really important. Like I said, my dream is to give back, and me running for city council here in Everett, that's what I want to do for you. I want to serve in the right way and make it sure that you come first. There are so many issues that are going on, but the issues that I care about are affordable housing, serving our seniors, transparency and efficiency, the city finances and where the money is going, improving business relations, making sure that crime is not a problem here, youth development, keeping people healthy, and making sure our streets are being improved. That is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make any promises that I can't keep because I want to serve you. I want to make sure that this city is working for you and not only for a specific group of people. This is our city, and again, my name is Gurley Adrian, and I would love if you could vote for me on Tuesday, November 5th, because it's time for someone to come in and help care and care for you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Renee Solano and I am running for city council at large. I would like to make Everett work for all its citizens. Census data shows that Everett has much higher rates than average of childhood and adult obesity, people with disabilities, seniors, and residents with incomes below poverty level, many of whom are children. We cannot keep shoving our heads in the sand and not put programs in place to help Everett's most vulnerable citizens. While there are a few programs currently to address some of these issues, I feel we can and should do a lot more. As a former firefighter, I understand how codes and regulations work and how important it is to balance the interests of property owners, tenants, and business owners, and to navigate municipal administration and red tape from both sides of the counter. If elected, some of my priorities will be keeping property values high while providing more truly affordable housing, addressing food insecurity, physical and mental health, traffic and parking, and encouraging small businesses to open and thrive. Anyone who knows me will tell you that you will always get an honest answer from me. I can also promise that I will always listen to your concerns and I will weigh all sides of every issue. I respectfully ask for one of your five votes for at-large city councilor on Tuesday, November 5th. Greetings to all Everett residents. My name is Richard Delasola Jr. I'm running for re-election for city council at large and I'm looking for your support. Because of you, I have served eight years on the city council. I am a lifelong resident and homeowner. I've been married 33 years to my wife, Lisa. We have two children, Richard and Lauren. This year, with the support of my colleagues, I was appointed president of the city council. Since I've been on the city council, I've supported the capital budget and many issues that allowed Everett to move forward. In the last two years, we have seen major changes. However, we are not done yet. I strongly support our local businesses 
and the reconstruction of Everett Square, which is long overdue and well needed. I will continue supporting our residents by stabilizing affordable housing. On Broadway, we are building affordable housing at the old St. Teresa's Church and also looking into the closing of Pope John using that building for affordable housing only. I've always supported youth programs and public safety. I will continue to show support for growth in our city, but not at the expense of our taxpayers. And I also support using Encore funds to reduce our taxes. The Encore Casino and Resort has been a great success in ongoing development will continue down Route 99. As your silly counselor, I work hard and I will continue with your support. I also feel very strongly about giving back to our community. I volunteer at the food pantry on Church Street. I belong to Mass Badge, as well as the De Dominico Foundation. For the last three years, myself, school committee member Frank Parker, and Councilor Anthony DePiro organized and run a yearly fundraiser for the Devon School. I regularly attend and I'm involved in all school and city events that go throughout the city during the year. I enjoy being, I enjoy being part of this community and getting out among the residents and listening to all your questions and your concerns. To me, that is a complete counselor. For the last eight years, I've always been more than just a vote of City Hall. We need leaders that want to go and do what is best for the city and our residents. I will continue to make sure that your concerns are heard and well represented. So remember, if you want a counselor that is more than just a vote of City Hall, vote for Richard Della Sola, sticks on the ballot on November 5th. Thank you very much and God bless. Times are changing faster than ever. We have new construction on every corner. Everett is on the brink of becoming a city where the casino is bringing in many visitors into our city every day. It is a time when you need a strong and friendly voice on the council who is willing to fight for you better interests. For over 20 years, I have been pushing issues that you tell me you have interest in accepting. You know I am always spending my time thinking about you on the streets, community events. Just to find and what you want from our city. I will make counseling a full-time job. I'm always testing the water to promote the average expectance. Oh, I am not an elected, elected friend yet. I'm out there always all year long, and I have been out there for many years as a counselor and as a friend, even when I have not even been past the council. Representing you and the issues, caring you and helping keeping the city ours is what I worked and I enjoyed doing the most. I need your vote on November 5th to put me back on the council. As a counselor at large and speaking out for you, thank you for years of support and hope to be your representation once again. Catherine Tomasi Hicks, I'm running for city council at large. Thank you. Hi, it's John Hanlon, uh, your counselor at large. 
I'd like to tell you a, a little bit about me. I came to Everett and I married into the Candorosi family. Frances is my wife, Frances. We have five children, I have seven grandchildren. Uh, I started off as being an alderman. Uh, I went to the, be a city clerk. I wound up being the mayor. Uh, I was a charter member and a charter commissioner. And finally, I wound up being your know, current council at large. In 52 years of service, I've only missed one meeting in all that time. Uh, and my, my biggest accomplishment, I think, is, is being very involved in building the new high school. Businesses are really important to me and to the city. Not only do they create jobs, but they really help alleviate the tax burden to the citizens of Everett. We need to make sure that our seniors' golden years remain to be golden by providing them the services they deserve for their long-term commitment to the community of Everett. Everett is in a great position, but there is much more to be done. It is important that the City Council has the knowledge and experience as it faces the next coming years. There is no substitute for experience. On Election Day, November 5th, I respectfully ask for your vote, a vote for John Hanlon as Councilor at Large. Hello, I'm Mike Marchese. I'm running for council at uh, Lodge. Uh, come November 5th, I'll be positioned at number nine. So if you remember, number nine. So before you start voting from the top, start from the bottom up. That's where you'll find me. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to talk about a few things that bother me and a few things that um, I'll be supporting in the, years, the year to come, or the years to come, hopefully. Uh, the first one is the, uh, the revenue from the Encore um, casino. It was said that we were going to receive a certain amount a year and it's been three months and I know it may be too early to see a result on our taxes but I haven't heard anybody say that they're going to support it. Uh, three years ago I had a, a piece of it actually it was an ordinance to give the city 75 percent of all revenues when the door opened. Come this Monday um, the 14th on the 15th, I believe it's on a Tuesday this year, the, the meeting, I will be supporting as an ordinance that the city receive 75% of all Encore revenue to go directly to our budget, after the budget is set, to deduct it from the budget. <coughs> that is one of the uh, more important issues concerning a lot of people. Number two, it's the overbuilding in the city of Everett. You know, recently we, uh, we put an 18-unit building with no parking up by the Powell School. Um, I think it's just too much that sh should provide some parking. I don't believe that people who live here won't have cars and we use public transportation only. And I hope, uh, the rumor I heard, that across the street from there, there's 1680 units going in, and I just hope that is against it, and I will fight adamantly against it. If we're going to develop the city of Everett and we're going to put high-rises, I don't think Broadway is the place to put it because of the traffic that we already have, which comes from the North Shore. I would like to see... Uh, the triangle down in uh, down by the parkway area because there's access to the bridge, there's access to 99, there's access to the parkway, and that's where the development belongs, not in our neighborhoods. And I will adamantly oppose any of that in the city of Everett. <clears throat> Number three, term limits. Term limits for politicians. Term limits should exist for everybody. Term limits should exist for the mayor, they should exist for myself, and also our school committee members. I think. A nice 10 year stint is enough to get yourself across to the people of Everett. And if you want to step out for two years, you come back and run again. But that's very adamant about that. And I think that the city should be um, embracing that and the charter should change. My fourth is the park in the city of Everett. The park in the city of Everett is getting atrocious. <coughs> Excuse me. We have these placards which we give out to people for practically nothing. So the placards are given out unlimited. They may as well be a resident city of Everett. The placards are used. They'll take them out. Maybe it costs thirty dollars for a month. They could park their car in our streets, get on a flight, go away for a couple of weeks, have their friend move the car regarding the street sweeping for thirty dollars. I think a we should be enforcing the overnight parking seven days a week. Second of all, the placards need to be reviewed. They should be limited to the amount per apartment a year or per resident a year. And those are the four things that I'll be working on this coming year. I hope you remember me. On November 5th, I'll be number nine again. I'm Councilor Mike Marchese. I live in this city, I was born in this city, and I love this city. And I hope that you, 
love to see as much as I do, and vote for the people who are independent. Thank you very much. Hello, Everett voters. My name is Wayne Matuski, and I'd like to thank those voters who came out on primary day, September 17th. Uh, we received a very strong vote throughout the community, our city of Everett. I did very well in every neighborhood in the city, and for that, I'm very grateful. I'm asking for your continued support. I have been in office since 1981. I ran in 79, and I was appointed in 81 with, with the passing of Robert Gentile. I am a senior citizen's advocate. I'm a housing, I won't say housing expert, but I know a lot about housing, having been on the housing board here in the city of Everett. I can help people, and that's what I do. When you call me, I've had the same phone number for 45 years, 617-389-5106. The same number, I actually return phone calls. I've had calls from people who said they call other people and they don't hear back from them for whatever reason. Everybody has their own style. I get back to people in a timely fashion. Uh, I'm a senior citizen's advocate. Seniors are our most important asset in this community and I'm proud to say that I receive strong support in that area. As I said, I'm a housing uh, not an expert, as I said, but I know how to help people. For instance, uh, if a veteran passes away and the, and the spouse is still alive, the wife or the husband, uh, they're entitled to a housing opportunity. They go first in line, and that's the way it should be. Uh, I've been involved for 40 years in this community, and I've received strong votes. I'm your former state representative in 2014. I was proud to serve at the State House. And as some people know, I passed the Animal Bill of Rights. It's a felony now to mistreat or to torture any animal. You can, it's a felony now if you're convicted. You can go to jail and you're definitely going to pay a fine. So I'm an animal rights person, advocate. Uh, a few months back, a few years ago actually, we had the airport noise inundating our community. Yours truly led the fight against the con artist at Massport to tell you that the wind is blowing this direction and it's all a smoke screen. We've got to stay vigilant to keep our quality of life positive in this community. And with that, I ask for your vote November 5th. I also want to mention that I have a Children's Safe Halloween Party, a program that I've done for 40 years. That means I was 20 years old when I started it. It's kind of hard to believe that, but uh, without the support and, and help from my friends and family, I would never be able to do that. It's at the Shavo Club on October 27th from 2 to 4. We have a great program for the children. Anti-bullying, respect for other people, in particular your grandparents. That's what the entertainment's about that I bring. And uh, it's a safe program. As I said, it's at the Shavo Club located in the village section of this city on Tileston Street. With that, if you're watching this program, there's a good chance you might watch the council meetings. And if you do, you know that I try to do the right thing. And there's a lot of different personalities on, in the city council, and I try to get along with everyone. And at this stage of the game, I ask for your support to continue to be a, a conscious vote for the citizens of this city. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Fred Capone, and I am your Ward 1 City Councilor, voted citywide. I'd like to thank ECTV for the opportunity to address you. I'd also like to thank my family, my campaign workers, all those folks out there with bumper stickers and lawn signs, and everybody who signed my nomination papers. Without you, there is no campaign. For the past six years, the voters of Everett have put me in office, and it's been an honor and a privilege to serve you. I thank you for your kind words, not only during the campaign season when I go door to door, but throughout the year. Uh, the kindness and the generosity has been shown to myself and my family, it's overwhelming. And I can't thank you enough, and it means so much to me. By way of background, 
I'm a lifelong Everett resident. I grew up in West Everett on Everett Street. I went to St. Anthony's Parochial School. I graduated from Malden Catholic High School. I went to Boston College. I graduated with a double major in business and political science. Graduated from law school cum laude and I've been practicing law for the past 24 years. As a younger man, I had the privilege of serving the people of Ward 6 on the Common Council, and I did so for 10 consecutive years. I opted not to seek a sixth term when my son was born. I felt at that time my priority should be my young family. Although I stepped out of politics, I didn't step away from community service. I was active with the St. Anthony's Parish School Board. I was active with the Parish Finance Committee. I was a youth basketball coach, a youth mentor, a trustee for Tri-City Mental Health, a member of the Kiwanis, a member of the Elks. And I've been a long-standing member of the Italian American Association well over 30 years. I've been a director, a president, and believe it or not, for the last quarter of a century, I've been the scholarship chairman. This organization gives numerous scholarships every year to high school graduates who are furthering their education. And this organization gives more scholarships than any other organization in the city. And I'm very proud of that. My wife, Michelle, who is also a lifelong Everett resident, and I personally give two scholarships per year. And the reason why we do that is we understand the significance of education in a child's life. And we also understand the importance of giving back to a community that has been so good to us. When you vote for someone, you're giving them your trust. And I never forget that. With every vote I make in the chamber, I keep that at the forefront of my mind. It is imperative that your elected officials watch out for your best interests and they ensure that your tax dollars are spent wisely. Even if you do not own real estate, the way the city spends its money impacts your quality of life. My record on both topics is solid. Now, being elected official is also more than a vote in a building. That's a large part of it, but your elected official has to be accessible. If you contact me with an issue or concern, we're gonna discuss it, we're gonna to try to resolve it, and I'm gonna get you an answer. You may not always like the answer, but I'll tell you this, it'll be a true one. Your elected official should also be involved in your community. From everything that I spoke about what I was involved with those uh, different organizations, I still am. So I'm very involved in this community. And whenever there's a civic engagement, I try to be there to represent the council. And I'm also involved with um, charitable events, both inside and outside this community. And one that's in this community that I think needs to get a shout out is Grace Food Pantry. Irene Cadillo and Paul Cadillo and all the volunteers do such tremendous work and they help so many needy people. And it's, it's an honor and a privilege just to be involved with them. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. If you can help them in any way, I, I please ask that you do. I am very proud of my Everett heritage. My wife and I are committed to this community. We are raising our family here, our businesses here. We have never called anywhere else home. Now, although I don't have an opponent in this year's election, I still need your vote. I'm asking for your vote of confidence to let me know that you like the job that I'm doing. So on November 5th, I ask that you vote Fred Capone, Council, Ward 1, voted citywide. I thank you for your time, I thank you for your support, and I thank you for your trust. God bless. Hey everybody, my name's Jason Marcus, and I want to thank Everett ECV TV for having me here and letting me present myself to you this year. To be truthful, I haven't done this in about five years, and uh, it's, qu it's quite a fun, it's, I'm 70 years old. It's quite a difference than five years ago when I was here doing this. So just to take you back a little bit about myself, I ran student government nights for kids up at the, uh, City Hall. I named the room after George Kaverian. Um, I named the Armory, changed it. I was co-sponsor for Ed Connolly, so I got involved with a lot of things. I ran student government night for kids. Um, Horace Mann School, when it was open, I ran scholarships there. I was a coach at uh, Everett High School. I coached with John DiBiazzo basketball, and I coached with his uncle, Bob Sansoni, youth basketball, Immaculate Conception basketball, and uh, the Youth Rats basketball, I was a coach. I was a volunteer at Perkins School for the Blind. I was a volunteer at Mass Hospital School, Boston School for the Deaf. I was lucky, I could do a lot of things, but I wanted to give back to people, give them something. 
So now I'm involved with this year with the election, and as a lot of people might know, I was a, a member of the union, 589, Boston Commons Union. They've endorsed me. And uh, I was the president of the old system, the council, twice. And I was the president of the Board of Aldermen once. So now I have had a chance to meet with thousands of people the last four or five months, and uh, I can see what some of the problems are in the city. One of the biggest problems in the whole city is, I don't care what anybody says, nobody knows anybody. There's so many changes with people. So I wish the, the city, we could get a day in a, every month at some temple, church, or city hall where you meet your neighbor. I had this idea, and I asked a friend of mine, Bishop Brown, who runs a church, he brought, he brought the idea to me too. He said, maybe we should do that, like have a day where you meet your neighbor, and we get to know each other, because the city's very diverse, and uh, being, from, being Jewish and being from this, probably the biggest minority in the city, I, I, I know what it's like, you know, not knowing other people. It's a, but I, I, I am going to work at that, very hard at that. Um, another ha thing that happened during the term I was in, the temple burned down, and we raised money for the temple, and uh, we got it back open, and that was, re uh, that, that was a really good moment. And another thing I was involved with was St. Teresa's uh, vigil in the church. Uh, they asked me to come up and help, and I, and I was sleeping there, and uh, kept it going for years. So those are just a few of the things that I, I wanted to talk about. It's all about people, and when you run and you help, and I go around the neighborhoods when it's not election time, and I talk to people to find out how they feel. I wanted to be a neighborhood counselor. And that way I get to feel what's going on and they tell me their problems. That's how I lasted so long in doing this before. Well, anyways, I wanted to just thank one other person and uh, the person you can't see her, Claire. That's the biggest inspiration in my life. I'm a 70-year-old man running, senior citizen. And uh, everyone has to have some kind of support. And uh, I've talked with all the seniors. I'm like the rest of you out there, the seniors. I take a lot of medicine too. so. And she's been the biggest inspiration. She helps me uh, keep my head straight and doing it's right and uh, getting up every day and having a reason to get up and enjoy life. I mean, I thank God. People ask me how I met Clear. I said, God. So thank you, ACTV. Thank you, everyone here. And um, God bless the people and ever. And just thanks for your kindness all these years. I'm Stephanie Martins and I'm running to be your next Ward 2 City Councilor. This is now an open seat and it's voted citywide on November 5th. I'm excited to add a new voice to our council and I look forward to working for you, with you, and to being your voice at City Hall. I first ran in 2017 in a closed election where I won Ward 2 but I came up short citywide. I have a bachelor's degree in government a graduate degree in public policy with a focus on housing policy solutions and I work in real estate and legal services. This is a turning point for our city and I look forward to working with our city government to address our many needs including keeping the city affordable, housing production especially for seniors, investing in public safety so our fire department and our police department can have the tools they need in order to perform their duties and assisting with solutions for transportation, education funding, and balancing improving our city with the needs of our people. I'm an active member of our community, mentoring children, working in different Know Your Rights campaigns, serving in the advisory board for the academies at the high school, and as a member of the Kiwanis Board. I never stop, and that's the energy that I commit to you as your next city councilor. My campaign is about you. Your priorities are my priorities. This is your seat, and I look forward to working for you. So I humbly ask for your vote for Ward 2 City Councilor voted citywide on November 5th. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jimmy Tri Lee, better known as Jimmy Lee. I am a candidate for City, Counc city Council from Ward 4 voted citywide. <clears throat> I'd like to take this time and thank Leo McKinnon for his years of service and ECTV for this 
great opportunity to introduce myself. While I have met many people during my campaign, there are still a lot more people that I haven't had the, uh, the pleasure in meeting. And I'm grateful for this unique opportunity to do so. As parents of a young family, Everett's future is very, very important to us. Very important to me and my wife. We want Everett to be the best that it can be. Though I'm a newcomer to Everett's politics, however, I, I've been overcome with the wonderful and warm reception that the people of this city has bestowed upon me during throughout my campaign rather. Whether you put a you put a sign on your property, sign my nomination paper, or even take a moment out of your busy day to speak with me. Let me say thank you from the bottom of my heart. As a candidate, I will not say things I don't mean. I will not make promises that I can't keep. As a city councilor, however, I will vote only on the issue of the day and what's best for the city. Political pressure, popularity, and personal gain, they will play no role in my decision-making process. I will always vote with the best interest of the city and her people in mind. I understand this city was built by hardworking families. Generation after generations were born here, grew up here, and raised their own families here. <clears throat> As time went on, however, the young people of this city chose to migrate elsewhere. That has to stop. I want Everett to be a place where families stay grow and prosper. I want Everett to be a destination for family, families, not just a transient process. I want Everett to be a place where grandparents and grandchildren feel safe, loved, and appreciated. I want Everett to be a place where small businesses thrive and are encouraged, where our district like Everett and Glendale Square are clean, attractive, and welcoming to diners, shoppers, and clients. Now, I believe Everett has come a long way <clears throat> in achieving some of those goals, but like many communities, we still have a long way to go. <clears throat> Do I have all the answers? No. However, as a city councilor, I will put forward all my effort into finding those answers and supporting those implementations. And that's a yes, yes, and yes. I am Jimmy Tri Lee. I ask for your vote for city council for, from Ward 4. Thank you for listening. God bless you, your family, and our hometown. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rosa DeFlorio. I have been uh, city council in Ward 5 since 2005. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been married to my husband, Mike, for 43 years. We are proud parents of five sons. We are also blessed with five grandchildren. While family is important to me, please know that I am always available if you have any issues or concerns. You can reach me at 617-407-0860. You should not feel as though you have to wait for election time to voice your opinion. As a city council, I have worked on numerous issues, way too many to mention. We don't have much, much time to mention it. Uh, but there are two very, very important issues that I will be working with the administration 
if elected, actually starting right now, not just if elected, and that's affordable homes and taxes. I know those are the biggest concerns out there, and it's very sad when we have ever residents, and it doesn't matter how long you've been living here, whether it's one year, two years, or 100 years, that you're renting an apartment and your landlord sells the house, and now you have to move. You can't afford the new rents. So I will be working very, very strongly with the administration that we address that issue now. As you well know, uh, the past few years, we have had issues with, uh, with the schools. We've had to fund the schools because of the formula. I know Senator Saldi Domenico and Representative Joe McGonigal working very hard at the State House to change the formula so that will relieve the burden of the schools and the taxpayers. And we can move forward with affordable homes and more affordable homes and your taxes. As your city councilor, I welcome your feedback, support as I continue to represent the residents of Everett. I would like to take this time to thank ECTV for allowing me to be in your home. Again, if you have any concerns, any issues, I'm always available. Rosa DeFlorio, City Council, Ward 5, 617-407-0860. Please vote for me on November 5th. Thank you. And in closing, I would like to God bless you, God bless the, God bless the city of Everett, and God bless the United States of America. Hi, my name is Vivian Nian, and I'm running for Ward 5 City Council. I'm a lifelong resident of Everett and currently live on Linden Street. I grew up in the village, and Everett has played a significant role in my upbringing as a child of immigrants and refugees. Coming back to the city of Everett is something I've always wanted to do, and I'm excited to fulfill one of my aspirations with the city that shaped me to be who I am. As a lifelong resident, I can confirm that Everett is definitely the city of pride, progress, and possibilities. And if elected, I promise to further that. I'm currently a presidential scholar at Babson College studying business administration with a concentration in technology, entrepreneurship, and design. At Babson, I play rugby, the saxophone, and I live in Babson Political Association, which is our school's politically themed housing. Although this is just the beginning of my political career, I've always been politically involved. Through high school, I was heavily involved in journalism and was exposed to how the legislative process worked by covering what state representatives did at the State House. From being in journalism, I was able to improve and develop on my interpersonal research, writing, and communication skills. I worked my way up from minor questions that my classmates wondered to major issues like my high school's discriminating hair policy and being a catalyst for controversial conversations that could take a knee movement. I have a strong background in activism and volunteer work and was even the 2018 Narrow Diversity and Inclusion Award recipient. I've been working with children since 2012 and my volunteer works includes working at the Parlin Memorial Library, coaching and tutoring students K through six at an after school program and fundraising for and at interacting with animal shelter. As a child of immigrants and refugees who grew up low income, I know what it's like to not always be included in the narrative and my intentions involve running for representative and next generation of Everett. As Everett grows, it's important to acknowledge the interests of residents new and old and I believe I'm the right candidate for that. Additionally, with the casino comes new funds to reinvest in our community and new jobs. However, it also means new outside traffic and issues that are beyond our control. I hope to fulfill the promises that were made when we voted for the casino, such as lowering taxes and also to ensure that the new funds we receive are to be used for capital improvement projects to develop our city as stated in the host agreement between Everett and Wynn. If elected, I hope to minimize the negative impact of gentrification and address our need for more affordable housing and education funds. However, city resources better reflect our diversity, prioritize our city when it comes to public safety, transportation, wellness, and jobs, and more, which you can learn about by checking out my website or by reaching out. For questions and concerns, I can be reached at 617-913-6405. Again, that's 617-913-6405. And for more information, to support my campaign, or to request a yard sign, visit vidforward5.com. And to conclude my PSA, I hope you consider voting Vivian for Ward 5. And even if I don't win, it's in my best interest that Everett City Government continues to flourish. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.
Hello Everett, I'm Michael McLaughlin, your current Ward 6 Independent City Councilor, serving proudly since 2011 on the City Council. At the age of 26, you gave me the honor of a lifetime, and that was to trust me with your vote of confidence. During that campaign and since that day, I have continuously worked every day hard to be your independent voice and to work on your issues, your concerns, and to share your thoughts here in City Hall and throughout our community. That election taught me so much, and I carried it throughout my career on the City Council. You shared with me many concerns that you have continued to share with me throughout the years, such issues as traffic, parking, and speeding concerns throughout our neighborhoods, to asking me to work with code enforcement to, to prevent absentee landlord issues, to protect our neighborhoods and not to have blighted properties throughout our community and to also help in co to improve coordination with the city and residents during construction, plowing, street trim trimming, street light replacement, and to make sure that better communication was had throughout all. I'm pleased to say that I have done all I could to improve those qualities for you, the residents of our city. Over the past several years, I have been I've been the recipient of several awards from some of the greatest organizations and outstanding community groups in our community. Such as in 2016, I received the President's Award from the St. Cosmos and Damien Society. The Service Hero Award recipient in 2017 from Portal to Hope in support of victims of domestic violence. The Ever Public Schools 2018 Outstanding Community Contributor Award presented by the Ever Public Schools Parent Advisory Council, and the 20th Anniversary Mass Badger Reci Appreciation Award recipient in 2018, and also the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award by, given by Zion Church Ministries of Everett in 2019. I've met, I'm currently a member of the Government Operations, Public Safety, and Public Service Subcommittee, and also a member of the Legislative Affairs here on the City Council. It has given me great pride to serve on the De Domenico Foundation so that we can continue to provide scholarships for students not only in Everett but the surrounding communities and also toys for children during the holiday season. I've also been a proud member of the Everett United which was an all-volunteers group to help bring Encore Boston Harbor into our city which has been one of the greatest prides of my career on the City Council and has brought in thousands of jobs for you the residents, economic growth, and also new tax revenue. This election has been, for me, about what is best for you, the residents of Everett, and not what is best for the current administration. I am supported by you, the residents of Everett, not the powers to be here in the city of Everett. It gives me great pride to ask for you directly to consider voting for me on Tuesday, November 5th, so that we can continue to work together to bring honest, trustworthy, independent leadership to the City Council by electing me as your voice in City Hall. I can assure you that my voice will always be of your best interest and will always be what you ask me to do and how to do it, not how someone else wishes it is done. If you desire to talk with me before Election Day or have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call me at 781-560-3791 or mikeforever at yahoo.com. But on Tuesday, November 5th, please recast your vote for Michael J. McLaughlin for re-election to the Ward 6 City Council seat, voted citywide for your independent voice on the City Council. Thank you and God bless America. Hello, my name is Alfred Latanzi, and I'm running to be your next Ward 6 City Councilor. I was born in Everett and have lived on Pierce Avenue in Ward 6 my entire life. In fact, my family has lived in Everett for over 115 years. In 1950, my parents, Mary and Babe, opened Everett Supply and True Value Hardware. It is now the last independent hardware store in the city. I'm proud that we have managed to keep our family business open, profitable, and are able to provide a valuable local service to our Everett community. In 1980, I took over the family business, and I still run it to this day. I know I've met many of you over the years at my store on Main Street. Getting to know so many of my neighbors is one of the best things about running my business. Before I joined the family business, 
I was a union carpenter. While employed, I decided to go back to school and I enrolled at Northeastern University. I graduated with a degree in civil engineering and went on to work in design and development on large and small projects around the state. Working as an engineer taught me a lot about how development affects neighborhoods. I learned about the importance of bringing the community into the process. Because you can't have good development without all the stakeholders being involved and listened to. It's a lesson I still remember, one I've kept close to me when I've been involved in our Everett community. The late great speaker, George Kaverian, was a good friend and mentor of mine. Watching him, I saw that good government can do good things. I've always remembered that government, especially local government, has a real effect on people's lives, and we have to always do our best. I've served the city of Everett in many capacities. I've served on the Everett GE Park Lane Commission, the Everett Credit Union Board of Directors, the Everett Traffic Commission, and the Everett Redevelopment Authority. In 2009, I was elected to the Charter Commission, and I'm proud that our work helped modernize city government, bringing focus and civility to the legislative body. My background in engineering and development will be valuable as Everett continues to grow. While we need to ensure that development grows our tax base, we also must preserve our neighborhoods and our sense of community. I will work to keep our tax base growing, but without burdening taxpayers. As the only property owner and taxpayer in the race for Ward 6 Council, I know that taxes need to be stabilized, especially when evaluations are rising. New public transportation options are crucial to the continued success of our city, and I'll be ready to work with all stakeholders to make sure residents are heard. I've been spending the summer and fall knocking on doors all over the city. I hope we've had the chance to meet. I'd like to hear what's important to you in this election, and I'd like the opportunity to personally ask you for your support and your vote. If you have any questions, please call me at 617-594-0455. I'll go to my website, allatanziward6.com. You know, folks, these are very exciting times for Everett. It's times like this when we need honest, serious leadership for Ward 6. I hope I can earn your vote on Tuesday, November 5th. Thank you.